drinking soylent with a straw. That's not a good idea. Hello everyone. Today's video is gonna be different. I'm gonna talk about a couple things. What are we gonna talk about today? Oh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, yesterday I went and had my allergies tested just to find out what I was allergic to. I had my allergies tested 12 years ago, 13 years ago, 13 years ago, um, and found out that I was allergic to a bunch of shit. Like the usual pollens, trees, life. Since then, found out that I was allergic to strawberries and bananas and poppy seeds and sulfa and polysporin. You don't actually know. So I had an allergic reaction to strawberries once um, where my tongue started to go numb and my throat felt like it was swelling. And since then I've carried an allergic. Allergic? I'm gonna show you it. So I've had to carry this around, it's an allergic. There we go, okay, so it's an allergic. In short, I usually tell people I have an EpiPen because people understand what an EpiPen is the same thing except this uh, talks to you. It tells you how to use it. You are ready to use pull off red safety guard. But we're not. Not ready to use. Replace the outer case. We got this because I almost went into anaphylactic shock from eating a strawberry and um, I'm covered by health insurance. So it's easy to have one. Although I've never had strawberry scent. My banana allergy went away. I now, as you can tell by all my videos, and I mentioned it at the end of last week's video. Um, I eat bananas regularly and love them. So I went and I had my allergies tested by an allergist because it was suggested to me that I should probably do that. So I did. And found out that I am not allergic to everything I used to be allergic to. I'm still allergic to cat. Oh, there's an orange helicopter. That's never good. What else was I allergic to? I'm also allergic to ragweed, weeds, and... I should have known this was, the sound was gonna happen because I mentioned there was a helicopter coming. Okay, I think mugwort is the other one, something, it's on, she gave me a printout, which was awesome. And then we talked about my strawberry allergy. And I'm not really allergic to strawberries. I also can't eat them though. So she said that because I'm allergic to ragweed, the extent that I'm allergic to, it is, it was horrible. If the picture, let's put a picture, I took a picture because I Instagram my life. Um, I got a four out of five on the ragweed. <laughs> so it was bad. Like it was bad when she sent, when we came in. The picture does no justice because it got worse after I took that photo. Um, so that's what's causing my strawberry allergy and what, what was what was causing my banana allergy. Love strawberries, but I just like shouldn't eat one. But if I do eat one, I'm not gonna die from it, which means I don't need to carry the allergic anymore, which is awesome because half the time I don't even know where it is. I don't know what's happening on this car. It's like blinking. Apparently the blinking numbers means that's your countdown to your card is full. The moral of the, that story that I've completely lost track of was I'm not actually allergic to strawberries and I won't die and I can eat strawberry jam, which is wonderful and that means I can have strawberry cheesecake. Yes. This is amazing news. Yesterday I was like, who cares? I still can eat strawberries. But I can have strawberry cheesecake and strawberry jam and anything that's in the form of a strawberry being cooked. I could also probably eat anything that's touched a strawberry and actually ha consume one strawberry because I won't die from it. I also learned I'm allergic to it. Histamines, which I knew. Um, I get very congested when I drink beer, but beer has histamines in it. I think wine does. I feel like wine, somebody told me that. But I mean, it's fine. I'm congested, who cares? I'll just take an allergy pill, an antihistamine. What was my second topic I want to talk about today? Soylent. Soylent is done. Strawberry allergy is gone. And to add to the mix of food we're talking about today, I'm not a gluten intolerant. So last month, the month of Jul July, the month of July, I did 30 days uh, gluten free. Felt fine, felt fine. So the month of August, I ate gluten <laughs> for the whole month. 
and I feel fine. My stomach is fine, I'm reacting to the food well. Nothing happened to me consuming gluten this month. And so I'm going with I'm not gluten intolerant and I'm my doctor just thought that. She told me to like go gluten free, dairy free, uh, and see what happens and so I did and then I've just been continuously doing that on and off because I feel fine whereas I'm pretty sure everything lies in the fact that I can't have dairy. That's my month of August that you're gonna get a video in the second week of September about. If you found anything in this video enjoyable, entertaining, enlightening, informative, informative? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos that aren't usually like this, but I can't really tell you what they are about because they're different all the time. Last week I told you how to check your eggs if they were bad. Mine were like slightly okay and good enough to cook, but my flour wasn't. And next week will be a vlog from my trip that I'm going on in two days. So you can subscribe if you want to see those. Yeah, and if you'd like my bag of Soylent, leave a comment in the comments below. Um, or let me know if you know how to get a hold of me. We'll see what I can do with it. Have a good weekend. Although it's Tuesday, so have a great week.